Yeah, real big, real two big leap and leap yeah, guys. McCricko and LaCondre. So, Take it away, Drew. Thanks to Tomo's Hotel. Okay, ball up high, throws it in the air. Tap, they go. LaCondre wins the tap, then one comes down to McCricko. And Burrigo will get the first clearance, kick to centre half forward, looking for Phillips. He's starting down there. Well done there by Ford. Could have taken the mark, and he goes off the ground with a nice 40 to 50 metre kick up to the wing. It's a foot race going on there. Cameron White in him for the footy. Slipped over. Ball still in play. Carson tried to get rid of the footy. And the ump, he's going to ball it in right in the centre wing. Out of sight of the ground. So, very important matchups going on here. I think, yeah, White of the Heads picked up Burke across half forward. Some interesting Jules Grayling starting at centre half back. Ball. So, ball will be brought back in the play here from the Eagles. This is Johnson again. Johnson decides to kick low and short and good mark in front forward once again. Getting in nicely. He's had a few Viper stats in his first quarter. Kicks the lovely player on. It's Nolan. He plays on from 40 out. Kick on goal. It's going to go close to the goal square. McLean's in front and takes a strong mark. Tim McLean getting in front nicely. Similar to Travis Cloak last time. We beat, took him against four players. Yeah, exactly right. That was, un, that was unreal. He's, he's a beautiful reader of the footy, Tim McLean. He was, I remember games uh, against the Colac Tigers when he played for St Mary's. He towered him up in that 2008 grand final. Um, he's just a remarkable player. It's fantastic to have someone of this calibre in the CDFL. So McLean shouldn't miss this year. Oh. And he just knocks it in for a goal. So that's their first goal on the board. A straight shooter goal of the day to Tim McLean. And the back in front are the site. And the Saints are going to 1-2-8. The Eagles are 1-1-7. We played nearly seven. We played 17 and a half minutes into the first quarter. I don't know if that's on the Marnie's transport scoreboard. In the red time, yep. mate. Ball thrown back into play. Stenos does the ruck duties. Comes out to Max Eagles. Gets out of one. Gets out of two. And he's going to be... Oh, no. He's a uh, high tackle. So, Max Eagles really taking them on at the moment. 45 metres out. He's going to square it up. Looking for a teammate and finds him. Chrissy Roberts. Chrissy Roberts has taken the mark inside the Ford 50 for Birigara. And he'll have a shot for goal directly in front, about 30 metres out from goal. And uh, he's usually a pretty good shot for goal, Chris Roberts. Good use of the body there and a one-on-one -on -one there with Thorne there. He just used his body so well out of the contest there, Chris he's Roberts. He's had a fair few set shots in his career. Oh. His kick is a straight shot of goal, eh? Oh. Chris Roberts gets his first goal. We've kicked him to, tw uh, to red time here at the nest. And Birigari go to 2-2-14 on the Marnie's Transport scoreboard. Western Eagles 1-1-7. The tab out, but it comes out to McNamara. Here he he kicks it inside the 450. Reed, can he get it? He tries to get the hand pass out. He slips oh. over, just stacks on everyone. Yeah, Crunchy playing a free kick's going to go the way of the Western Eagles. Bit of uh, bit of head and ball clash again. Yeah, no going, going for the footy, and then he just runs straight. And I think it's Carson again. Yeah, that's no, Tommy Carson with the free kick inside the 450. He's kicked one goal, one so far. He's kicked the Eagles score at the moment. And Carson, who I think regularly played up in the back line back in the days when he was back here. I don't know, it was only last year. Carson inside the 450, oh, comes oh, in, and oh, it's a straight oh, shooter goal today. Galifard didn't move, mate. Yep. Just had to stand there and let it go over his head. Tom Carson kicks his second. It's a straight shooter goal today, and it is uh, the West Eagles now to go 1 2 1 13 to be a 2 2 14. 23 minutes gone. Alican Ooh. kicks, oh, dribble one. It goes straight to Hodgson. Hodgson now kicks inside the 450, and it's been marked. Carson again, I yep, think. Tommy Carson has marked it inside the 450. <laughs> He's kicked all the Eagles score at the moment. He's kicked two goals, one. And uh, he can have a shot. Well, he will have a shot for his third goal. It went straight over the goal umpire's head in his last set shot, and he snapped one before that one. So Tom Carson returned to the club mid-season. And he'll come in now, have a shot. Looks oh, pretty good off the boot. Yes. And it's a straight shot of goal today to Tom Carson. He's kicked three goals, one. And the Western Eagles hit the front again. 3-1-19 on the Marnie's Transport scoreboard. Birigara 2-3-15. Two, uh, two, it's still on ground level. Lynch picks it up. Hand passes over top to Johnson. Hand passes back to Lacrondo. Now he's going to kick it long outside their defensive 50. Might bounce back now. Chance here for Phillips. Kicks inside the forward 50. Cass picks up the footy. Tries to get out of a tackle. He drops the footy now. Yeah, no gonna free pick. kick. No, he's going to pin it. Albie's free kick. No, and Mary's free kick and advantage paid. And it's going to be a free kick in 50, is it? No, the umpire paid advantage, I believe. Has, has it gone through for behind or what? I thought it went to the Eagles, didn't it? Yeah, and, no, it's 50 metres. No, everyone's confused what's going on. What's going on, Ups? Come on. Yeah, I think it might be... Uh, I think it is 50. Oh, I thought it was an Eagles free kick, wasn't it? Oh, it was an Albie free kick for, for a half. No, no, it's not Albie. It can't be Albie. Albie's not playing. Oh, Perry, sorry. It's Perry <laughs> Gar, I was going to say. <laughs> I still think Paul Cass is playing I reckon, for it. No, I reckon it's the Western Eagles free yeah, kick. Yeah, 50 metres. 
Yeah. It's very, very strange. I oh, know, it is 50, so it is. So Paul Cass line up and kick a goal. So Cassie kicks his second. They're already lining up to get the footy. I was wondering what <laughs> Tim McLean was doing. So Paul Cass gets a goal, just a bit of confusion. But he gets a straight shot of goal at A and puts the uh, Birigara side back in front. 3-4-22 to 3 one nineteen. Even got Drew Boy confused about what side Cassie was playing oh, with today. I still think it's playing for <laughs> Albie, but anyway, so 3-4 to 3-1, we have played seven minutes into the second term. Ball tossed up, Grayling in the ruck, good to see, wins it down, taken there by Floyd, he's showing a bit of science, got out of Cutler, very nice return to the young fella, kicks up to a tarp on him, good mark there by Phillips, 60 from goal, he goes inside, 50 there, looking there, good man in front, there on McLean, he should be paid, no! Umbo's going to throw it up! I thought, it, I thought he marked it, but the umbo saying that He's hearing different things. No, he's paid the mark. It was a bit of confusion. He had the arms crossed. So McLean takes the mark and he'll go back and have a shot about 30 metres out, 45 degree angle, boys. What's he got so far today? Just the one straight. Yeah, he kicked it very good. He kicked the goal with yeah. a strong contested mark. It was a bit of confusion. I thought he marked it. The umpire crossed the board. He crossed his arms and the umpire would call, no, it's a mark. So McLean, come and have a shot on goal. Back him from here. He's yeah, a great you, kick. You think so? He comes in now. 35 metres out, kick on the right. Yeah. Never a moment that left the boot, it was always going through. And that's a straight shooter goal today. Tim McLean kicks his second for the afternoon. And the, and Beery get the last get the last couple of goals in the row. They're going now to go to four goals, 428, leading the Western Eagles 3-1-9 time. We we'll play eight and a half minutes second quarter. Marnie's transport scoreboard. Now comes the Nolan. Nolan kicks a very high one to half forward. Almost marked there by Cass. Comes out to Lukey Phillips. Clever kicks kick. it inside the Ford 50. Stack on the middle, as Cass picks up the footy, he snaps around the body, so it was uh, it was McLean, the other McLean, it's and it rolls through, he looks like Paul Cass, but he <laughs> oh. kicks like Jonathan McLean, he kicks the goal straight to the goal of A, and uh, Jonathan McLean kicks his first goal, they now go to 5-4-34, Western Eagles 3-1-19, and they've jumped them, they've kicked three goals straight this quarter in under 10 minutes, and the margin is 15 points, and uh, we could most likely not see many goals after this, but fantastic play there by Jonathan McLean. And Looking that time for stage, Janoff couldn't take the mark there, but he's good enough. Well done there by Chrissy Roberts to head over the footy that time. Kavanaugh did well, but he's way ahead again. He's been very good today on there on Burke. Kicks up towards half forward there, looking that for McLean. Fills a run in, should kick the goal, and does. Yeah, he does. Just got the boot polish onto it, true. Yeah, he's kicked the goal, his first goal. That's a straight shooter goal today. And all of a sudden, Birigar really making their men's now. And they're making their move. They go to 6 4 40. The Eagles are stuck on 3 1 19. We played 12 minutes into the second quarter. Okay. All right, third quarter about to get underway here. It is Birigar by 22 points for the Tomo's Hotel in Cobden. Here's Drew Boy Simmons. Moen wins the first tap down. Here they go again to the, the, the Saints through Davis. Good mark again by Phillips. He's having a very, very good game. Kicks inside 50, looking there for Grayling. Couldn't take it that time. Zap around the corner there by Cotton towards the goal square. Bit of holding going on down there. Taken there by Nolan. Goal kick by Cass. No, it's not going to make it to go. Yes, anyway. it is. Yes. It didn't look like it went through, but it was a little bit ugly. And there's a bit of a wrestle going on as well. So the first goal kick by Paul Cass, his second for the afternoon as the skirmish just breaks away just a tad. They go now to, let's go, 7-5-47, leading the Western Eagles who's stuck on 3-1-19. We've played 45 seconds into this third quarter, that is on the Marnie Strandsworth scoreboard. And I think there might be advantage paid, it is to Hodson. Hodson kicks up towards the wing, looking for Carson, couldn't pick it up. The cleanest player out in the green is one the very good, comes down to the weather head. Taken there by there, wide of him, no. Malikin tried to paddle on, goes off the ground on that occasion, ball just stops in the mud pit. On the boot there was Dodds, he kicked up the line, good courage! That time there from Cut and there from Zach, Jake Ford. And Sammy got up at the foot and that should be 50 metres it is. You just, you mark it and you just push in the ground. Good decision by the umpire. And he'll go and that, this is their first real crack at goal in this quarter for the Eagles. And he'll come into about, oh, probably about 30 metres out directly in front. Yeah, well, they do need a goal, don't they, Drew? Desperately. That's a, that was good play there. Good crunch. Good day for Jake Ford. Run back with the flight. Yeah. Knew, knew Malikin was going to get crunched, but Thorne was terrific there and just took a terrific mark riding back for the flight. So Jake Ford comes in 30 out directly in front. Need a goal, and that's what they get. Just snakes in for a goal. So that's their first goal since about to end a time on in the <laughs> first quarter. 
And that's a straight shooter goal. A kick there by Jacob Ford. And that's his first goal for the afternoon. But they're still a long way behind. They now go on to 4 2 26. Here we go, 8 6 54. We've played 18 minutes into this third quarter. That's on the Marnie's Transport scoreboard. But he can't knock out the footy. Eagles can't either. Still in the mud pit it goes. And the umpire surely will have to call for a ball. This is a long quarter for a one goal game. No, one, one goal quarter. There, it, there is. it is now. <laughs> There's the siren. Birigara. Go nicely clear. And I'll probably start their final spot today. And with a very impressive performance here today. The final score here at Ill Will it be this afternoon. It was a very comfortable win at to the Birigara side. 9 7 61. They've defeated the Western Eagles 4 2 26. And I didn't think they scored in that quarter no, either, Maxi. They did their score up to Dan Casey end. <laughs> Goal kickers to, for the Birigara Saints. Two goals each to Paul Cass and Tim McLean. Singles to Travis Lane, Chris Roberts, Jonathan McLean, Luke Phillips, and Tom Parker. Ball for the Eagles. Three goals to Tommy Carson. Singles to single there to Jake Thorne.